With uh, Set's ultimate gone, we might be okay, but their damage might be a little high. Good thing we have Titanic Hydra. Oh! Close. Could have died. Yes. Uh, uh, Merc Wolf seems to be completely okay with Fresh Top. He's just like, ah, I'll play, let's go and claim. Oh, he has no fe- Let's- Let's go! I'm gonna I just woke up. His coffee is barely drank. I will end this set. Like, no one has ended anything, just to prove a point. He wants to bet. I don't do anything bad, but I get blamed anyway. We're gonna take Fleet for safety, we're gonna go for a skating build. We're just gonna go for the old Jack show. We're preparing for the new season. We're gonna be getting some competitive fresh builds variants out. Sound good? Because people keep asking, oh, is Jack Show good? Is Jack Show good? Of course it's freaking good. <laughs> it's amazing. So this Blitz is like, oh, you're playing my, my main. How dare you? Truth be told, Tet isn't a good matchup for Fresh. But he's better than Cassante, I'll tell you that. Before we get into the gameplay, I'd like to tell you about the build that I think will be best for Fresh Top going forward, why I think it will be so, and a huge disclaimer, of course, about Fresh Top in Ranked. The case for playing Fresh Top in Ranked is less of, I want to scale rank, so I will play Fresh Top, and instead more like, I want to play Fresh Top, and I want to play Ranked with him. Why you take him into Ranked lobbies could be down to simply wanting serious teammates, serious enemies, or him genuinely being your main for whatever reason, such as in my case. So if you still want to do that, here's the build. Our mythic is Jack Show, and though the most recent patch may sound like a nerf to most everyone except tanks, Fresh has gained more from Jack Show changes than any other champion for one reason alone, and that's because its resistant scaling has changed from total to bonus. Whereas a typical tank has base armor high enough for them to have roughly 50% base, 50% bonus from items, Fresh is always going to have a significant portion of his armor be bonus thanks to having no base armor scaling per level and gaining all of his extra armor as bonus from souls. However, you may want it second unless you need to be tanky as soon as possible, and instead take one of these two damage items. Take Titanic Hydra to be a great tank with damage, and take Blade of the Ruined King to deal great damage to tanks. They're both fantastic items and you can build both, but definitely get Jack Show between them since you need the hybrid resistances quickly, or Mages and Leandries will demolish you. We also get Berserker's Greaves as a preferred boot choice as Fresh's on-hit soul damage scales great with attack speed, but needing so many tank stats it can be hard to incorporate attack speed anywhere else. If really need be, you can take either defensive boot in accordance with the enemy team comp. After that, just take tank items as appropriate, become huge to deal your soul DPS for longer, and use your and use your utility abilities with reckless abandon. And that was a longer speech than I ever wanted this to be, but now I can pass you to the video with no regrets. Please enjoy. You know, fresh top probably isn't the best thing to play in the ranked ladder in terms of scaling, but in terms of getting people who are hopefully semi-competent, it might work. At least that kind of care about winning if they don't run it down. Surprised he didn't walk up. They have a lot of squishy champs, so if we just get our Jack Show, some additional tankiness, and whatever specific counter items we might need. I think we can just rely on on hit from souls if we uh, farm good, which with fleet for working down shield we should. We'll do the good DPS. We'll be the good tank, and we'll just provide value as opposed to set here. He's gonna do it. Oh, I missed the timing. I forgot my flay was a when effect, not an if effect. I've been wondering that. What does League of Legends smell like? Answer that question for me, chat. And if you're watching from YouTube, answer it in the comments below. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I might not want to read the answers, but there you go. Very epic. All right, big wave. He does have Ignite. And of course, he can walk up and hit our wave, so we gotta be very careful if we're gonna try and attack set now. Especially when he has sustain innately. It's probably the least aggressive set I've seen in a while. Okay, we have a freezer of vein. This is definitely boding well, as long as she doesn't tumble in later. Ekrim's going to bot side. pointless to do that. Rams apparently come up. He's pissed. Oh, also Blitzcrank came up, so cool. Don't want to linger too long. New season live. Preseason is. New season, no, that's tomorrow, I believe. Wasn't it 13th? Wait, hang on. Wait, no, I have no idea what I'm on about. Ignore me. Where's Brand here? Is he in sync? He's all free. So that's got a big wave. This obviously benefits me because it's going to reduce XP to uh, set. So when Brand, you know, leaves. If we get level 6, we can kill him. If he gets too close to tower, which he probably will, the way he's going. Yeah, he's not having... That's a shame, because his Kais is actually um, doing well despite being behind, so... Let's take this caster here. He has no W, and our dude's coming up. Okay, he's dead, and Van should die. And this is worth it, I think. Okay, Lee is a bit terrible, but that's fine. Let's work on... Titanic, the classic. Okay, I did not need to... Oh, he's, he's holding the lane here as well, which is... Oh, he's just trying to farm. He's just trying to steal farm, asshole. He is level 5. It's technically really good for us if he does get the XP. That means I get nothing and it's going to freeze here if Set knows what he's doing, so please never ever do that as a jungler. The good news is uh, Set seems to punch minions for fun, so we don't have to worry too much, that's good. Fake lantern. First game of the day. I think the worst thing that can happen is if our team gets too cocky from the brand here just kind of roaming and inting. It's technically not the new season yet, but this is this feels like my first ranked game in season because I don't play ranked like ever anymore.
We also could go. Although I would definitely, I'm going to prioritize going tank this game to keep it safe. We could go Blade Rune King. It's not just an anti-tank item, it's got a good AD, good flat damage. So it's not bad into this. But the faster I can get that Jack show, the better. All right, we got the stuns at the same time. Avoid the true damage, smack. This is all fruitless because he has just so much sustain when he's at low health. But we are hurting, slowly, over time. <laughs> it's a TF ult. Everyone can see it, but that's a timer. No, oh, Brand is back. Level 5. Come on, throw a Q at me, or whatever your ability is. I suck, man. He's so good at dodging. <laughs> First game of the day. Maybe we made Brand laugh. Maybe he'll stop being toxic now. That would be the happy ending. Yeah, he's gone. He's like, ah, oh, I've done my duty. I made him ult. The hell? The bot lane's more solo than the top lane. Are both supports in mid lane? And the AD carries having a 1v1. And they're both fed. Okay. He could be in the middle bush, so I'll hold play. Okay, he's not. Unusual league game? I'm not sure about that. Pretty usual from what I can see. Some dudes lost his mind. Their jungler doesn't gank top because one out of two junglers do not gank top. No TM at. I prefer to have control over the lane. If I have TM at, then if the enemy just doesn't do anything other than last hit, then it forces me to push. And that's really, really bad. Particularly for fresh because you have no mobility. Ghost only makes up for so much. However, when you get the full Titanic, it's kind of benefits outweigh that, so. And by the time you have Titanic, you can actually beat people. So. It's pretty good. Oh, I wish you would. Yeah, apparently people don't take teleport anymore, because teleport sucks. So some people would go Flash Ghost. Supposedly. So I've heard. As you can see, we do, um... No damage. Blade Rune King would help in this regard a lot. Is he going Heart Steel? Damn, I really wish I went Blade Rune King now. But our team needs a tank. I just want him to hit me. Let's keep punching him till he. There we go. I mean, the good thing about not doing Blader and King is that we don't actually do any damage, so his W doesn't do any damage. Hey? Hey, big brain? Oh, oh, he missed. There we go. 
Because if we burst him here, he'll get a big W. And then negate extra damage, which would kill him. And then he can kill you. Which is not good. And he has Ignite as well. Oh yeah, Sphinx Knight. There's just so much percentage health damage in the game that I think Heart Steel can often be quite bad. If your champ does have natural resistances, like Fresh, then it can be alright. But because Jack Show is just so stupid, chances are Jack Show is a better item. Get our Titanic. Because now we can push the lane intentionally to keep him here for Ennis Tower. So he can't help anyone else. And he's going to be trying to get this heart steal on us, but we're going to say no. It's never good at math. Hello, Rex. That emote is from Hit's uh, streaming sensation, JJ Casey. See, now that we do damage, we do actually give him a W, but that's okay. The last uh, season, or before durability update, this build would be enough. You could just go with this and build whatever tank stats you wanted. But everyone's a tank. What the fuck? <laughs> everyone's a tank this game. He's a big boy with that heart steel. Time plate and go on. Cancelled auto, let's go. Good timing. W gone. That was a little <laughs> foolhardy. It's okay, we got him off the farm. Blitz is coming top. Stand this side so we don't push so quickly, but don't really have a choice with Titan, do we? See brand again. All set. Do anything. You can kill one of them here, I think. A mastery seven on his behalf. The, the fucking lantern! You main fresh and you don't click? Ugh. I had a feeling that would happen. I don't trust Blitzcranks. Oh. Rand's here again. With uh, Set's ultimate gone, we might be okay, but their damage might be a little high. Good thing we have Titanic Hydra.
Oh! Close. Could have died. <laughs> so why do we need the Jack Show? Damn, <laughs> Baron Masher. That soul shield. Look at that, I'm barely awake. Enemies apparently had an AFK. Twisted fate left, I guess. 